All right, guys, I'm inside now. Blind. Oh, you can see, check this out. There's a door going into the next one over that way. I'm going to go outside. Oh, you can see it's a pretty steep ledge. I'm butt crawling down here. Oh. In the middle of the day, you turn to me and say, come on, let's get away. Skip this town for a day. Get behind the wheel and drive. We don't care about the time. With you by my side. Alright guys, here we are at Aztec Butte. Butte. Oh, oh that's right, Butte. Aztec Butte. And uh, just got done looking at the arches, uh, Mesa. Mesa Arch. Mesa Arch, which was phenomenal. It was really beautiful arch. Probably yeah. one of my favorites that we've seen so far. Yeah, it's a, just a quick half mile hike. So it was pretty easy for, you know, families or anybody. You just can't take your pets, which is we left Jack at home today so he's hating us right now yeah <laughs> but um, yeah nice quick hike really beautiful views um, and we got an earlier start today so I think we got to the arch um, like right around nine o'clock which was nice um, so it's a little bit cooler because it gets pretty hot here and less people and less people yeah so now we're getting ready to do a two mile hike which we are going out it's called as I said Aztec Butte um, there's two buttes that we're going to hike up to. The first one is called the Granary, where apparently they have an old Aztec granary. I, I have no idea what we're in store for, but that's what's there. And then the second one is actually where there's supposed to be some uh, dwellings. old dwellings that are into the, you know, in, in, the rock. in the rock mountains and stuff. So we're hoping to see those and get up into there. And then I heard there might even be a cave on the back side. So we will see. Yeah. Um, we will see in a little bit. Bye. All right, here we go. All right, we made it to the base of the first butt, a oh, butte. <laughs> Sorry. He just cracks the, himself up. <laughs> the immature That's Shane, it. you know. <laughs> so we've made it to the first one. Uh, and this part here, looks like we get to do a little bit of bouldering. Not bad. It's but you'll see here, I'm going to let Michelle lead us away any slips or mistakes we can have for the blooper reel. <laughs> so uh, and, we'll show you what we got going on here. Yep. Looks like there's a lot of little carns to help guide the way too. So we're going up this rock face here. Here goes Michelle leading the way. Right there, that's the that's the trail. Straight in front of you. You see the size of the steps? Go for it. Your butt's on camera. I know. Thanks. Cute little survival tree. Look at this little tree here. Just surviving on the cliff. Alright, here we go. stored water, seed, and food in tightly sealed baskets and pots. Uh, perhaps this was a food pantry for a family living nearby. I don't know, I have a feeling it's going to be right down here. Ooh, let me... Oh yeah, let's go take a look at this. We either found the little pantry or we found a rattlesnake den. We'll tell you here in a minute. Going through these rocks. You first. <laughs> oh, no. Is that it? Uh, there it is. Well, I, I wouldn't say that this was necessarily it. Oh. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Boy, I'll tell you what, people. At that sign, you got to be daring and go off this cliff here because I think most people would miss this. Oh, this is awesome. So here we are. Um, I'm going to have to step back so you can see this. What? No, oh, look at this. A little cave thing. Yeah, but look at these buildings. Oh yeah, that's the one. I'm gonna go down the hill a little bit. Yeah, and then I'll just to kind of give you an idea. See, there's the top of the ledge. Go in there and go crawl around and look through the window. Okay. No. Yeah, gonna, seriously. I don't want to get stuck in there, but I'll. You're not gonna get stuck. <laughs> Here, I'll just do this. <laughs> so you can kind of see the side. So you can see how she's squatting down and her head's under Looks there. Like this, I put the baskets in here and then they sealed this. You know, you can see there's the roof ledge. It comes down over here and then you can see these formations along in here. And then, I don't know, I'm standing on kind of a cliff edge. That is hard sandstone. I'm just gonna kinda try to traverse around. You can see more yeah. of the little caves. I don't see any more. I don't know for sure if this is. No, I don't see any more. Let me try and go back over here and Sorry, make this a little bit more. You can kind of see on the edge here, you can see the backside. Again, just try to pull back a little bit so you can see the top ledge. You wouldn't even have known these are here if we wouldn't have stepped off the edge. Right. I mean, maybe if you were hiking down there, you could see them. Um, as you look up, but it's off the main, path. main drag. And let's go take a look inside, guys. All right, watch your heads. Yeah. You can kind of see in there. No idea what's back in there. Oh, you can't get in there. I thought you could go behind it. Yeah. I you can't get into like them. Thank you over here. I'll send you guys in. <laughs> you can kind of see what's going on in there and report back to us. That's pretty cool. That was uh, interesting how they have that. And I was just kind of looking, I got out my compass and was just kind of looking at the way things are set up and they have it faced on the north face, which I'm going to assume that they did that because of it facing north means that it's gonna be in the coolest environment. You know, a south face is always gonna be your hot side. So it being the north face, it's always going to be in the coolest area. Plus it's tucked under those rocks and down in there like that, you know, to keep the most, you know, uh, lack of better terms, refrigeration. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really awesome. That was yeah, a that was fun. surprise. We're going to go ahead now and we are going to drop off of this face and we're going to head to the next butte, which is apparently where their homes are. So this is uh, Aztec Homes, <laughs> apparently, and we're gonna see what that's all about. So stick around.
Oh, I think I see a building coming up. Got uh, home sweet home. Just have to climb down here. Ugh. Yep, looks like a. Uh, Honey, we're home. Yeah, Aztec uh, view home at the top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, looks like they got a little. Storing space back there, maybe had a shelf back there. There's the spots there. Yeah, it's, this is a view home. Prime piece of property, great front yard. Uh, make us an offer today. Any other interesting views that we can see? Yeah, sacrificial ledge, I don't know. I'm gonna try to go down here and see if I can get a view on, on all trails. They talked, somebody talked about, oh, on the back side there's a cave. And uh, I'm just trying to check it out. I see some overhangs. I do see, what's this up here? That might be a cave up around the corner here. I'm gonna head up this way. Oh, Michelle, come on down here. There's more buildings. All right, so we've got another little building you can see here that is stacked in. This is uh, one of the view condos we have for sale. Another little table area. You can see they have all these little spots where another one right here. We have another little wall and Another home here. You can see how that one rock there has fallen off of that ledge up there. So um, they're not wanting us to go by right at this point right here because of that. But you can see again, like I said, they had other huts or views, or I'm not sure what that is right there. And just to give you an idea, it's not straight up and down, but it's pretty darn close. So, canyon down below. All right, guys, we're on the back side. We are in this beautiful little uh and here's another one oh this is a big old condo here look at the size of this one comes around in here step through this bush oh Check it out. We have some arches over here. Oh yeah, this is definitely a keeper one. Check this out. Here we are. This is the big one right here, guys.
I'm gonna pause it so I, I gotta climb up. All right, guys, I'm inside now. Blind. Oh, you can see, check this out. There's a door going into the next one over that way. I'm gonna go outside. Oh, you can see it's a pretty steep ledge. I'm butt crawling down here. Oh. All right, check it out. This is, we got us a whole arch. You come down and through here. Look at this. This goes back into the bedroom. Back in here, and you can see that wall goes up into that. That's where we were in the other room. This is a stone archway that goes in here. All right, guys. This is awesome. This is what it's all about, man. Hey, welcome to Couples Corner. Hi there. So today we're going to talk about negative and positive perspective. You know, um, in human nature, people are either positive or negative. Some people are more <laughs> negative than others. It's you. <laughs> I am. I, I can be. <laughs> so some of the things that we want to, you know, just talk about is, is that concept of negative and positive perspective. So you know, a lot of things can happen out here in the RV world. We have little glitches, things stop working, break down, and we can allow ourselves to get caught up in that negative perspective. And when we're in negative perspective, oftentimes what things will happen is we continually start to go down that path. And that's something that we want to really work on not doing. You know, if your partner if you're in a negative perspective and your partner makes you a beautiful dinner, when you walk into the kitchen, it's going to be a thought of like, oh, God, look at all those dishes I have to do. Instead of actually appreciating the positive things that were there. And we live in a society where negativity is something that gets put out there a lot. OK, you know, as parents, we tell our kids, we try to tell them um, to think to think positive and one of the ways that we work on that is by taking what I call taking the power away from them and what I mean by that is like with our teenagers when they come into the house they love to be negative they're oh, you know how's school it sucks mm -hmm. you know and so that's giving them the power you ask them how school was and then they're going to go to negative so I take the power away from them and instead of asking them how school was I would ask them hey tell me the best thing that happened to you today or tell me the best thing in school that happened. And creating them to constantly be thinking about positive stuff. You know, we play a game. Yeah, we do. So um, when, when we are in a negative sentiment, you know, when we both kind of notice it, Shane will say something like, um, you know, well, tell me three positive things about that situation that we were both being really frustrated about and so it's kind of a, a game and you know sometimes we're silly about it and get a little sarcastic but it really helps us like change our mindset of being negative and kind of trying to think about the positive about things um, because once you're in that negative sentiment it seems like things just continue to go down um, you know we've all had those bad days where it seems like nothing goes right and so trying to just reframe things and find the positive is a good way to go about it. And even in the worst of situations, there are ways to see things that are positive. You know, we've just spent a year in COVID and, yeah. you know, we see all the negative spots of that. But I'll tell you, you know, I've seen a lot of families that are getting together and doing things that they hadn't done. I've watched a lot of dads out playing catch with their kids who haven't played kids. I've never seen them play catch with their kids before. And now they're out there playing catch with them, you know, so there are a lot of positive things, even in the most negative. And so the idea is to try to train your brain to think in that positive perspective. Exactly. Hey, thank you for watching our videos and sticking around for couples corner. 
Yeah, we really appreciate it. And if you uh, like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell. And we will see you out there on the road. Take care. Bye-bye.